Hey everyone, it's AJ with Everyday Patty again. Thank you for tuning in and today we're gonna to jump right into it. This is an Elite Wood insulated patio cover build with electrical and tails. So there's gonna be a dimmer and a wireless fan on the job. So you see us starting out here, just kind of staging the material so that we can move on with the build. And those are some of the insulated panels. So on this job, I'm gonna be building with my wife, Lachesia and Aiden. Yeah, Aiden's my brother. So you can see him in the blue right there. And here I'm marking out where the post brackets are gonna go. Screwing them in properly. And then move it on to the hanging channel. So this patio cover is basically gonna be the exact length of the house, so the full size of the backyard. It's gonna be roughly nine foot tall and have two lights and one fan. Here we're just putting in the lags every 16 inches per code. And that's the hanging channel up while I put up the rest of the lags into it. You go through the wall a little bit with your hammer drill and then once you hit wood, you put in the lag. There, I'm pulling for electrical. And that's the first layer of caulking that we put against the house. It's like a very viscous, uh, thick caulking that adheres to the stucco and to the metal. So this is all Elite Wood patio covers. This one's insulated. It's a three inch foam, and then it's an, a deep embossed aluminum. Like this patio cover specifically is white panels and desert sand, everything else. And here we're tacking up the first panel. Making sure the water's draining properly to one side of the patio cover. And then I got on the posts and anchored to the, the, to the ground uh, kind of preemptively on this patio cover because it was kind of a windy day. There you see me leveling them off and putting in the redheads in the ground with my hammer drill. And there I'm just making sure the panel has the proper overhang on each side while I take off my strut. Then seal the panel as you go to the next one. Here we're locking in the rest, making sure the electrical is properly spaced out as we go. I'm screwing in from the top with uh, five inch lags into the beam while my brother's screwing into the house. And here we're cutting the last panel. So sometimes you don't need to use every single panel on the job to be the correct length of the house. And that was our cutoff. You could also see the planking feature. And here we're going to be doing the tails and the rest of the wrap kit. So you kind of mark them out roughly every two feet. Tails are basically up to customer preference. So this customer wanted them. Um, we don't often do them, but you know, if somebody wants them, we're, we're happy to install them. And here I'm jumping right into electrical. There's gonna be a dimmer and fan switch here, and then an outlet also with a GFCI. I'm gonna expose the wires and then basically properly connect them all. Connect your commons, connect your whites, your blacks. You gotta make sure that 
you know what you're doing at this phase in the patio cover. Do not have uh, unlicensed people working on your electrical. It's it's just not right. There's a lot of things that can go wrong, especially if lines are touching any of the metal. The entire patio can cover cover can go live. So it's it's very important to have uh, your electrical done properly. Just a disclaimer right there, so you guys understand. The GFCI helps regulate and make sure that there's no errors if it was installed improperly. It'll bas it's bas it basically serves as like a, a system shut off. And here we're putting up the fan. The fan's mounted up into the fan beam and then basically I'm exposing the wires. There's gonna be a wireless remote that I had to install in the top part of the fan. And cleaning it off after install. So this is what the roof kind of looks like before I connect the electrical and finish off all the caulking. But it's got its first initial layer of caulking. Those are the tails, that's all the neighbors' houses. They all look like they need patio covers. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. I think the patio looks great and I hope you do too. If you guys like this content or wanna see more of our patio cover videos going forward, uh, please hit the subscribe button. We appreciate it, it really helps with traction. And again, thank you for staying and I hope you have a good day. Everyday patio out.